Ah, there you are. I'm glad that you're okay. I wasn't sure what I'd do if anything had happened to you. The reason I asked you here is because I needed to talk to you. Please, have a seat. Oh, before that. I believe I mentioned him earlier, but this is Akihiko. How you doing? Okay, let me start off by asking you this. Would you believe me if I said that a day consists of more than 24 hours? Do you remember the night you came here? You had to have noticed the signs. The street lights went out, nothing was working, there were coffins everywhere. Didn't it feel like you were in a different time? That's the dark hour, a time period hidden between one day and the next. I guess it's more like something people aren't aware of. But the dark hour does exist. It occurs each night at midnight. It'll happen tonight and every night to come. Normal people don't realize it since they're all sleeping inside their coffins. <laughs> but that's not what makes the dark hour so interesting. You saw those creatures. We call them shadows. They only appear during the dark hour and attack anyone not in a coffin. It's our job to defeat them. Sounds exciting, huh? Akihiko, why are you always like that? You just got hurt the other day. Now, now. He does his work well. Long story short, we're the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad, C's for short. On paper, we're classified as a school club, but in reality, this group is dedicated to defeating the shadows. Mitsuru is the leader. I'm the club advisor. A shadow feeds on the mind of its prey. The victim becomes a living corpse. They're responsible for most of the incidents on the news, if not all of them. Although rare, there are those who can function during the dark hour. Some may even awaken to a power that enables them to fight the shadows. That's Persona, the power you used the other night. The shadows can only be defeated by Persona users. Which means it's all up to you guys. I'm glad you're quick to understand. What he's trying to say is, we want you to join us. We've prepared an evoker for you. We'd like you to lend us your strength. Uh, don't think too much. Just hang out with us for a while. Please. We need your help. Hey, don't say it like that. How would she be able to say no under all that pressure? Don't get me wrong. It'd be nice if she joined, but... Thank you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you so much. I'm really glad. Oh, I almost forgot about your room assignment. Why don't you just stay here, in your current room? I don't know what the holdup is, but I guess it worked out in the end. <laughs> holdup? Wasn't that... Oh, never mind.
We've met before. <laughs> Soon, the end will come. I remembered, so I thought I should tell you. The end of everything. But to be honest, I don't really know what it is. Oh, looks like you've awakened to your power. And an unusual power it is. A power that takes many forms, yet is bound by none. It may prove to be your salvation, depending on where you end up. Do you remember when we first met? I expect you to honor your commitment. I'll be watching you, even if you forget about me. Okay then, see you later. I was going to fall asleep in there. Can I have a minute? Come to the lounge when you get back to the dorm. I have something to tell everyone. I'll save the details for later. See you there. Probably busy with things like student council, unlike us. Ooh, Yucatan! Do I sense some hostility? Well, it's not that I don't like her. She's just. Never mind. Let's go. It's not that I don't like her or anything, you know? Oh, I'm talking about Mitsuru Senpai. Why does Junpei always have to talk about stuff that isn't any of his business, huh? Plus, he says it all in the creepiest, most perverted way. He's like the poster boy for sexual harassment. You know, last year he... Welcome back. We were waiting for you. There's someone I want to introduce. Huh? Hey, hurry up. Hold your horses. This is freaking heavy. <laughs> What's up? Junpei? Why are you here? This is Junpei Iori from Class 2F. He'll be staying here as of today. He's staying here? You've got to be kidding me! I bumped into him the other night. He has the potential, but he just awakened to it recently. I told him about us, and he agreed to help. You have the potential? <laughs> For real? He found me crying like a baby at the convenience store, <laughs> surrounded by a bunch of coffins. I don't remember much, but man, that's embarrassing. He said that's, you know, completely normal in the beginning. 
like being confused and not remembering anything. Did you guys know that? Didn't he tell you? Man, every Persona user should know that. But man, <laughs> I was shocked to find out about you guys. I had no idea. I'm glad I'm not the only one. It could get kind of lonely, you know? I'll bet you're stoked too, right? Having me join? It'd be nice to have a guy around too, wouldn't it? Huh? Uh, yeah. So anyway, glad to join the team. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Well, enough with the introductions. I think we're about ready. Okay, everybody's here. I'd like your undivided attention. For a long time, Mitsuru and Akihiko were the only Persona users we had. But that number recently jumped to five. Therefore, Starting tonight at 12 a.m., I'd like to commence the exploration of Tartarus. Tartarus? What's that? Sounds like toothpaste. You haven't seen it, Junpei? Hmm? It's no surprise. Since it only appears during the dark hour. The dark hour? Just like the shadows. Interesting, huh? And it's the perfect place for us to train. You can think of it as a shadow nest. Whoa! Their nest, huh? But, Senpai, what about your injury? Since Akihiko hasn't fully recovered yet, he'll only come as far as the entrance. Yeah, I know. Relax, I've got your backs. I'm not so sure about this. What about you, Mr. Chairman? I'll stay here. As you know, I can't summon a persona. This is it? This is the place? Why here?
Just wait a few minutes. It's almost midnight. This is Tartarus, the labyrinth that reveals itself during the dark hour. Labyrinth? What are you talking about? What happened to our school? Once the dark hour passes, Everything returns to normal. This is the nest you were talking about? But why? Why did our school turn into a giant tower? You don't know either? No. I'm sure it's complicated. Well, maybe now we'll find out. Mitsuru and I have only gone in to take a peek. This will be our first time exploring it. Exciting, isn't it? There has to be some sort of clue in here about the Dark Hour. Akihiko, I respect your enthusiasm, but you won't be accompanying us today. I know, you don't have to remind me. on the inside. But it sure is creepy. This is only the entrance. The labyrinth lies beyond the doorway at the top of the stairs. First we'll have you three get a feel for this place. Why don't you go have a look around? What? By ourselves? We're not asking you to go very far. And I'll be feeding you information from here. We're also going to appoint a leader to make any necessary decisions. For real? One of us? Oh, oh, me, 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 pick me! Uh, you're in charge. What? But, but she's a girl! Well, she has fought them before. Seriously? That's true, but there's another reason. You two. Can you summon your persona without any difficulties like she can? Yeah, of course I can. I think so. These are shadows we're talking about here. Without your persona, you're screwed. I'm aware of that. All right, let's head inside. Are you ready? <laughs> That's the spirit. What's the matter? <laughs> I've 
been waiting for you. The time has come for you to wield your power. The tower that you are about to venture into. How did it come to be? For what purpose does it exist? Ah, uh, regrettably, you are not yet capable of answering these questions. That is why you must be made aware of the nature of your power. Your power is unique. It's like the number zero. It's empty but at the same time holds infinite possibilities. You are able to possess multiple personas and summon them as needed. And when you have defeated your enemies, you will see the faces of possibility before you. There may be times when they are difficult to grasp, but do not fear. Seize what you have earned. Your power will grow accordingly. Be sure to keep that in mind. My spare time will soon be scarce. But please, come again of your own accord. I'll tell you then about my true role, the manner in which I can best assist you. Ah! Oh, but before I forget, do you recall when I mentioned another resident of this room? Tell me, when you think of this person, what do you see? I see. Then let's bring him out for a proper introduction. My name is Theodore, but please, feel free to call me Theo. It's a pleasure to meet you. My assistant will aid you as well. Until then, farewell. Hey, are you all right? Yeah, what's up? You look like a zombie. Huh? What door? I... I don't see any door. Have you been nodding off? You seem kind of out of it. Dude, you're supposed to be our leader. Get your head in the game. Don't worry, though. I got you covered whenever you need it, man. Come on, let's go. So, this is it, huh? I hope I don't get lost. Can you all hear me? 
Whoa, is that you, Senpai? I'll be providing audio backup from here on out. Wait, y you mean you can see inside here? It's my persona's ability. I'd like to join you, but the structure of Tartarus changes from day to day. That's why outside support is imperative. Well, that makes me feel a whole lot better. Now, based on your current location, you can expect to encounter enemies at any minute. They shouldn't be too tough, but proceed with caution. Practice makes perfect. Right! Got it. Why is she always...
wisely chosen attack. Awesome! I summon you! Yes, the enemy Here's is Here's a vulnerable. chance. Let's get him! Get back here, you son of a... There is a better way to defeat all of your enemies in battle than to attack them individually. You can perform an all-out attack. Would you care to hear more about this? When enemies are thrown off balance, they become vulnerable. An all-out attack will allow your entire team to attack simultaneously. Your enemies will be unable to defend against it. It's a very reliable method of attack. Whether or not you want to perform an all-out attack is up to you. But remember, you cannot perform it when you're alone. So if you want to have it in your arsenal, make sure your team is comprised of at least two members. That's all you need to know about all-out attacks. Do you understand what I've just explained to you? Then, that concludes the basics of battle. But there's one last thing I need to tell you. Shadows become stronger the further you advance. If you don't think you can win a battle, retreat at once. There may be times, however, when an escape will be impossible. This battle is one of those times. Good luck. Chosen attack. Get him! I summon you! Yes, the enemy Here's is vulnerable. Chance. Let's get him! Get back here, you son of a.
Everyone, spread out and proceed individually. Switch. Welcome back. So, how was it? I see. Well, if you gained confidence, that's the best thing you could have achieved. Wow, I never knew I had that kind of power. But damn, I'm beat. That's because you were bouncing around like a little kid. Yeah, you look pretty tired yourself, Yucatan. I'm still trying to catch my breath, actually. That's the effect of the dark hour. You'll become fatigued more easily. Don't worry, though. You'll adapt. But I'm surprised. You all did much better than I expected. At this rate, they'll catch up to you in no time, Akihiko. <laughs> we'll see about that. the main portion of today's assembly. Next, we'll hear a word from the student council. Please welcome the new president, Mitsuru Kirijo, from Class 3D. Thank you. So, she did get elected. Well, I guess she is the most popular girl in school. You can say that again. There's like some kind of aura around her. Besides, this school's owned by the Kirijo Group, right? As I begin my term as Student Council President, I'd like to share with you my vision for this coming year. It is my firm belief that each of us must accept the responsibility of bettering our school. However, 
Change cannot occur without sustained effort and an unprecedented level of commitment. That is why we must restructure our daily lives to accommodate this lofty goal. I'd like each of you to dig deeply into your well of motivation and reevaluate your convictions. To imagine a bold new future without losing sight of the realities around you. That is the key. I'm certain that many of you have your own visions of the future. For us to reap the full benefits of our education, your participation, ideas, and enthusiasm are essential. Thank you. Dang, that was freaking amazing. Hey, did you understand what she was talking about? <laughs> I figured you wouldn't. That's kind of a relief then. We live in the same dorm, but it's like we're on different planets. Man, if she asks for my opinion, I don't know what I'll say.
you look at that? I hear they're always swarming Akihiko Senpai like that. I know, he's the captain of the boxing team, but... I mean, come on. You don't even see girls flock like that on TV. I wonder where they're going. Hey, are you guys free this afternoon? Huh? Who? Us? I... I guess so. I want the two of you to meet me at Polonia Mall. You know where it is, right? I'll be at the police station. See you there. The... the police station? Uh, are your friends gonna come along too? Who, these girls? I don't even know their names. They talk so much they give me a headache. Anyway, I'm gonna head out. Don't keep me waiting. Oh, why can't he be more friendly? <sighs> Man, how can he not know their names? I mean, seriously, just look at them. Well, guess we gotta go. Sheesh, talk about putting a damper on a guy's afternoon. Thank you, sir. Oh, these are the guys I was talking about earlier. This is Officer Kurosawa. He helps keep our squad well equipped. And this is from Ikutsuki-san. Really? Sweet! You can't fight empty-handed, so find something you like. Officer Kurosawa has connections. But these things still cost money. Of course they do. Nothing in life is free. I realize that. Well, I'll see you later. Thanks again. I've been informed about you too. My job is to maintain peace in this city, regardless of the circumstances. I'm just an ordinary police officer, but it doesn't take a genius to know something strange is going on here. I'm only doing what I think is right.
Welcome back. Put you in. 